Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the first part of our video, we have discussed about the need for second indigenous aircraft carrier IAC-2 or Vishal for Indian Navy and why it is now or never kind of situation. In today's video, we will try to understand how financially viable it is for Navy to go for indigenous aircraft carrier too. Is it a very costly option or in the Navy should focus on submarines? As being discussed widely, IAC-2 could be bigger than IAC-1 having a total displacement of around 65,000 ton. In 2022-23, Indian Navy has been allocated 47,591 crore rupees or approximately $6 billion as a capital outlay. If this is to be considered as a baseline, Navy will have close to 70 to 80 billion fund for its modernization in next 10 years. The IAC-1 or Indigenous Aircraft Carrier 1 Vikrant was built at a cost of rupees 20,000 crore or $2.5 billion. The Indigenous Aircraft Carrier 2 is going to be a much bigger vessel and considering inflation may cost somewhere close to 4 to $5 billion. Indian Navy has allocated Rs 43,000 crore or $5.4 billion for six indigenous conventional attack submarines under Project 75I. CCS has also approved three out of six nuclear attack submarines which will cost around 15,000 crore or $1.88 billion each. In total, it will cost around $5.64 billion. Another $4.5 to $6 billion is allocated for MRCBF program. These four major big ticket items sums up to approximately $22 billion to be spent over a period of 10 years which is close to 27% of the fund Navy will have for the modernization of its fleet for next 10 years. There are some more big ticket acquisitions such as 6 Next Generation Destroyer, 7 P-17A Stealth Frigate, 8 Corvettes, 4 Landing Platform Docks which we have not considered. Still, financially, the IAC-2 seems to be a viable option for Indian Navy as per our analysis. After the success of IAC-1 INS Vikrant, there is no question on capability to build IAC-2 Vishal of similar displacement. However, the IAC-2 is planned to be of 65,000 tons, nearly 20,000 tons more than INS Vikrant. Further, IAC-1 is a STOBA that is short takeoff but arrested recovery type carrier. The proposed new design of IAC-2 will have significant changes from Vikrant including a possible catabar system meaning catapult assisted takeoff but arrested recovery. In these systems, the deck of aircraft carrier is flat and thus they are also called flat topped carriers. United States and France are only two countries at present using this technology. The catapult stores energy which is when released is converted into kinetic energy providing enough momentum to the aircraft to launch from the deck of aircraft carrier. In catabar system, two mechanisms are used which are steam powered catapults and emails. The steam powered catapults use conventional steam pistons whereas emails system launches carrier based aircraft by means of a catapult employing a linear induction motor. Recently, Indian Navy's Vice Chief Vice Admiral SN Ghormare visited BL facility in Bengaluru where the basic electromagnetic catapult launch system testing model was showcased to him. The Stoba type aircraft carrier imposes limitations on aircraft's takeoff weight and payload. The Catawba type carrier facilitates aircraft launch at maximum takeoff weight or MTOW with a full payload. It also enables aircraft launch like airborne early warning system and unmanned aerial vehicles to take off from the aircraft carrier. 
the initial plan for the IAC-2 included nuclear propulsion system, but this was later changed to an integrated electric propulsion system due to the complexities involved in developing a nuclear reactor with a capacity of 500 to 550 megawatts that would possibly take 15 to 20 years to develop. However, Navy must look forward for nuclear propulsion system as it may have advantage over the conventional propulsion system. The nuclear propulsion system provides non-stop operation with reduced fuel cost, infinite petrol capability and much more. There are also plans to operate UCAFs as well as fixed-wing anti-submarine warfare aircraft and medium or light fighters from INS Vishal. It could greatly expand Navy's mission envelope with UCAFs using a pilotless aircraft for high-risk reconnaissance and suppression of enemy air defense missions. The mid-air refueling can further aid UCAPs on missions for 24 to 36 hours continuously since pilot fatigue is not a factor over here. The experience gained from the construction of ISC Vikrant by Cochin Shipyard Limited has been significant. Though the first aircraft carrier took 13 years to build, but now CSL is confident in delivering second aircraft carrier of 65,000 ton in just 8 to 9 years. The Cochin Shipyard Limited is constructing new dry dock at an estimated cost of Rs 1,799 crores. This dry dock is dual purpose dock which can be used for repairs construction of an aircraft carrier of up to 70,000 ton displacement and tankers and merchant vessels of 55,000 ton docking displacement. This new dock is planned to be commissioned by July 2023. Considering all these points, the project for a third aircraft carrier should be launched no later than 2025 because it will take another one more decade to build a 65,000 ton aircraft carrier and INS Vikramadit will be out of service by then. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.